Yeah, Carolyn, Quicken has landed a couple of punches in this slug fest with the feds. Earlier, they got the case moved from Washington, D.C. to here in Detroit, their hometown. And with this ruling, they got federal judge Mark Goldsmith to take away some of the feds case. As we continue through this process, we're going to continue to narrow it, narrow it. And at the end of the day, we're going to be vindicated by a jury of our peers. The feds allege Quicken Loans knowingly violated FHA loan rules from 2007 to 2011, but the judge ruled in favor of Quicken that only loans after April of 2009 could be part of the case. Quicken says the government is cherry picking a small number of loans in this case. I'm not telling you that mistakes don't get made every once in a while in a loan, but there was no intention. There was no reason for us to do anything like that. We have maintained the highest quality of any FHA lender in the program by FHA's own measurable standards, and yet the DOJ wants to come after us. The feds allege Quicken approved hundreds of loans that should have been denied, ignoring red flags, and that the culture was approved by upper management. Quicken says this lawsuit is overreaching, going after several big lenders in what Quicken calls a money grab, that it would be easier to settle with the feds than go through long, expensive litigation. If those lenders decided to settle, that's the money grab, right? They didn't want to go through the process. Just pay me hundreds of millions of dollars to, to, to go away. And Quicken executives, including Dan Gilbert, have said they're going to fight this no matter what the cost, all the way to the end, and go to a jury if that's what it takes. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you for that live report. Uh, 